This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews, and do I have something to review for you, boy? Here we have an Oxford set, codename Cobra, CN3531. And this is Base Camp. Now, I'm pretty excited about this set. Why? Because previous Oxford sets always use the dark olive drab color. So this is something new for a change. Much brighter colors. And also, too, the minifigures are different because they bend at the knees. So we'll take a look at that. Shut up. Go to your bed. Anyways, here's the other side. So here's a picture of the new figures. Different functions. You got your truck, your tank, your base camp. Let's open it up. And here's the finish set complete. So first off, here's your instruction book, leftover sticker sheet, extra pieces, your little accessories, two camp outposts, you have seven minifigures, your vehicles, and all these. Quite a bit for this set. And I will start from smallest to biggest. So, you have quite a variety of minifigures here. You have your classic yellow face ones, different facial expressions with all of them. You have a skull painted face here, dark one, and a, looks like tan or flesh tone skin color ones. So, that's a variety. Like mentioned earlier, these are new minifigures, totally different molds. They bend at the waist and at the knees. There are no printings on the back or front. So the vest just covers up their torsos. And a nice thing too is the binoculars flip down. Here's a view of it down. And actually from Oxford, this looks like a first for them. But the company Kobe actually came up with this first, this idea. So I think Kobe's be uh, idea is a little bit better. But same function nonetheless. And right now, too, while we're at it, we're going to do a comparison with these new figures compared to the old ones. 
and the Creo ones. And here's the comparison. You have your Creo figure, your older Oxford, and the newer one. So you can see the difference with these. All from Oxford. So next up are the uh, minifigure accessories. So here you have your standard eight tools. You have extra binocular pieces, headsets, and your weapons. Next up is your missile launcher on a tripod. It does rotate 360 and the legs are bendable too. You also get extra missiles too. And you get a couple barrels which actually go inside the crate. Next up you have a couple of fuel tanks which I assume and these look like they're electrical fences. You have a couple of those. Nothing too fancy here. And here's tent number one. All the four sides open up so you go inside and actually see there's a table and a map. And a couple drawers that actually open up. And next up is your second tent. These two are identical in appearance on the outside, but differ on the inside. So here we have a couple benches, lots of drawers, and you have extra body armor, a couple of them, and a backpack, actually two backpacks. So this is kind of like a locker room. Again, same thing. That folds down. Next up is this big supply truck. I like the looks of it looks tough. If you notice the windshield, that's actually printed. So that's a printed piece right there. However, the headlights are stickers which kind of bring this model down a bit. And that's a sticker too over multiple bricks. Now to put a minifigure in, just pop the top open. That's not supposed to happen. So there's room for actually a couple guys in there, but I just put one in. Also two of the crates are meant to go on the back. That's a great idea, but the execution is really poor because they should have used tiles so this won't stick. That's what happens. So in a way, that kind of ruins the play feature. So let's take a look at this truck one more time. Next up is the main reason I got this set. So here the turret can go 360 and cannon can go up and down, but I'll show you the other features. Here are the hatches, and you have a storage compartment here. Put your accessories and weapons in there, which is really nice. And here you have hatches to the engine. These open up. Now if you'll notice, those are tan. Those are supposed to be dark gray, like these vents here, but Oxford sent the wrong color so inside my box came an extra little small so here's the little correction that I need to replace with the tan ones but for now that's the engine and if you'll notice too here I'm missing one of these bars which isn't a really big deal because that's not really an important piece Anyways, moving on to the details, here you have an extra wheel, actually two of them, one here, the one there, and extra track that comes along with this. 
Now I'll tell you one thing, the build on this tank was fun and also tedious. It was tedious because of the wheels. There were so many of them put together. Four pieces for one of these times 12. Also to the tracks on each side uses 76 pieces. So that's a total of 134. Let's test these tracks. These tracks are really stiff. Even if you put it on carpet, they don't want to move. So I might want to have to put an extra chain link and see what happens, which I will do right now. So here's the track with one added link to it on each side. So a lot smoother, which I will keep this way. It will roll on carpet for now. So an easy fix. Now let's man this tank. Pop that open. Pop back in. There, now the tank is manned. If you saw my last Oxford review, this is what I reviewed here, this tank. Pretty recent. So here's a comparison to the newest one. Now you can see the size difference. Now I must say this is the best Oxford tank as of yet. Let's compare this to a similar Abrams tank. So here we have a Mega Bloks tank, the Call of Duty tank. They are very similar in size. But the Mega Bloks Call of Duty tank beats the Oxford in terms of realism and color. So there you have it, my Oxford base camp review. I just want to say that the set is definitely worth it. The guy who sold it to me sold it for... 117 including shipping and I know from Korea shipping is very steep but as far as I know this set actually if you bought in Korea in USD this is 56 bucks so imagine if this was in the US buying this for 56 bucks at your store that would be awesome but again these sets are hard to come by you can only get it online and there are some specialty stores they carry these, but overpriced as well. Now, I just want to say, like, almost everything about this set. Only flaw is I just wish they use tile pieces for the crates so you can pull them off easily. And the tank, too. I wish the sides, they use tiles so it would be more slick looking, like the Call of Duty tank. But that's just how it is. I don't care much about the new minifigures, but that's a good idea with the knees bending, just like Tyco Superblocks and Idol. Those are two companies that I know that did these before, so this is the third brick company I know to do the bending knees minifigure. So there you have it, my review for Oxford Base Camp. Thanks for watching.